Welcome back uh, developers. So in this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to configure a file upload functionality using a VJS UI application and a Spring Boot backend application. Uh, before moving ahead, I would like you to verify some software is installed on your laptop, JDK 8 or above. I should have NPM installed and finally uh, few CLI. Uh, to be installed on your laptop most of you will have this i just want you to verify it before we jump into the coding and as well uh, i would expect you to create a vue.js application uh, hello world application and uh, spring boot application uh, just a very last good application you can just create or download from the spring site using the initializer oh, i have my spring application created or the spring boot application so now I'm going to add uh, the rest nature to this uh, boot class. So this is a boot class and I'm going to add uh, the rest controller annotation so that I can write some uh, rest request in this. So um, I'm going to write a method which accepts a multi-part uh, file and uh, in the request. And I'm going to return a success message uh, back to the caller. So for that, I'm creating a request param and name it as uh, a file. I'm just going to receive that file as uh, a multi-part format, and then I return back a message that I got this file successfully. Um, also, this should be a a post request uh, so I'm adding the post mapping and a URI to call this uh, API okay now uh, let's uh, go and start this application so everything looks good um, let's start it make sure everything is working and the spring boot application uh, starts starts up well all right now I'm going to test this code using a postman client so create a request and uh, that's, that's going to be a post post request which we created as a post and then uh, paste the URL with the URI and then uh, select the body and select the form data. So put the key as file since we are expecting uh, it as a file and then change uh, the type to file and now I select a file from browser file and then send it. Okay, we got a successful message back from the um, Spring Boot Rust application. Let's uh, look at our UI application now. So I'm using Visual Studio Code as an editor. Um, I loaded my project into that. I'm going to start the app uh, just to make sure everything looks good. So npm run serve uh, will bring the server up and running. Uh, once it's up and running, just test the app. It's like yours. Put your local host URL. It start on 8081, and it looks good. Everything looks good. So now let's go back to the code, and I'll paste a snippet of code here, uh, which is a basic form, and uh, the form uh, has an input type as a file to browse the file from your local machine, and then it is referenced as, referenced as upload image, and then I have a change method uh, on change. I'm going to call an image upload method. Um, yeah, another one is a button which will submit the form. So there is two methods which we are going to write, uh, like two functions. Um, that's what next thing we have to do. Okay, so before that, um, I just want to install uh, Axios because I am using Axios plugin to call my backend. So let's install that. So npm install Axios will install Axios. Um, and of uh, that, uh, let's go and verify whether Axios is installed for that. You open the package.json and just uh, see Axios got it. So, okay, it got installed. So, okay. Once uh, Axios installed, we'll go ahead and uh, set up the script part. Uh, okay, now um, in the data part, I have declared one form data available, uh, which we'll be using in, uh, in the functions which I'm going to call. Um, 
So the first thing we have to do is uh, the, define the methods which we are uh, expecting to be called from the controls. So the first one I would like to write is the onload uh, image onload uh, on the file control. Uh, so that uh, is a method on change we're going to call. So that should be defined. So I'll paste this method here. So if you look at the method, the first line is to create a, a, a variable called file and then uh, you know reference uh, the, the upload image reference. And since it is only one file, uh, I'm just reading the first element from the array. And uh, next line, I'm creating a form data instance. And then append the one which we just uh, we just uh, create uh, the, the selected file will be assigned to that form data and that's how the file will be assigned to that to the form data and the next method we need is the start upload method um, that's the invoke part when you click on the button uh, so it should call the backend api uh, that's the expectation so we have uh, we have uh, axios uh, installed and i am for axios here uh, now I call, I send these parameters into Ax Axios instance. Uh, so important things are the backend URL, uh, which is our Spring Boot, and uh, that's the URL. I'm just, uh, I'm just create, uh, giving it together. Um, the server name plus the uh, the port and everything plus a URI. So it's, it's a post method. So I'm using a post method. Important thing is uh, multi-part form data. The content type should be multi-part form data when you're sending it from here. And then in the response, I am just printing the data which we got in the response back from the server. So that's pretty much of the setup. Uh, and let's go ahead and uh, start the server. So npm uh, run serve, uh, which will start the server. When the server starts, Rob, right? If there is no other issue, server will start well. So here we could see the server started well. And I'm going to uh, check the UI part, so so we already started it, and I can see my controls are here. Yes, uh, uh, you know, test applications, so both UI and backend. So backend is, I'm going to start the backend in a debug mode. Okay, just go ahead and click the debug. It will start in debug mode. So our, our UI is already started. Uh, you know, it's the it's running on localhost 8080, and uh, the backend Spring Boot application will be starting in 8080. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm putting a breakpoint at line number 27. And go ahead and choose a file. Okay, I just, it's upload an image. Click on upload method, so upload button. And then you'll see the control, uh, the breakpoint control on 22. So it's active now. And let's see, inspect this. So, so I have the image uh, in the object. So I can see the image name. I'm just releasing the breakpoint. So that means we'll return the message back to the UI. So you could see the message going back to the UI. So this is how you upload a you know, file from a Vue.js uh, UI and a Spring Boot backend. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel.